What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with mixing DPH and DXM. So Benadryl and Robitussin. So let me just start off by saying I am a recovering addict. I'm about three months clean right now. Uh, trying to find outlets is kind of one of my ways to stay sober and YouTube is one of those outlets. Especially right now with this pandemic going on, which by the way, everyone make sure to stay indoors, stay safe, and yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so the way I did this was I took 16 of the pink and white Benadryl pills and I think 20 of the Robitussin pills. So that would be 400 milligrams of Benadryl and 300 milligrams of DXM. And most drugs that I've mixed Benadryl with, Benadryl always took over and just like doled the experience and it just kind of made me feel like shit. So not DXM though. DXM and DPH were it was a very interesting combo. Like, I would say it was pretty close to almost being psychedelic. Okay, so it was about 7 p.m. on a Friday night, I'm pretty sure. And me and my friend decided that we were gonna take the same amount and just have a good time. And so we did. So this is probably one of the only times that I'm gonna be able to say that I had a somewhat fun experience on DPH because otherwise, mm -mm. So about 45 minutes in, um, me and my boy were playing Call of Duty just waiting for it to come on and we could tell that by this point it was slowly starting to creep up on us we knew that we were about to be tripping hard like i remember getting the chills kind of like i would like if i was coming up on astro shrooms and uh, my head started feeling like really itchy and that could have just been an allergic reaction but it didn't last very long just for like maybe 30 minutes but my head got super itchy and it just everything was really really intense it was starting to get really intense so about a full hour into the experience, me and my friend were both starting to get some visuals. And the visuals for me were like, I could stare at a wall and it would slowly start melting. And the longer I'd stare at the wall, the faster it would melt. So it would kind of be like, I'd stare at the wall and it would kind of go down about this speed. And then if I stare at it long enough, it would literally do like, it would go like this, it'd go. And I mean that fast, like everything just melted down with it. Um, the walls were kind of breathing and everything started to feel kind of alive. Kind of like when you're on psychedelics. So about an hour and a half in, the peak started coming on. Um, and my friend and I were getting really hot and the being in my room just started to become too much because we just felt so crowded like the walls were closing in on us. So we went outside and we started walking around my neighborhood and we definitely started feeling better after that. It was like kind of warm out, but there was a really nice cool breeze along with it and the sky was clear and everything just seemed so perfect in that moment. It's very euphoric. I remember me and my friend were walking by the houses and we were tripping out because they didn't even look real. I swear, we, we both thought that the houses looked like Play-Doh houses, the yards and everything. Hmm, and one part, um, we were walking and this random guy saw us and he interacted with us. He just asked how our night was going. We were like, yeah, it was good, man. How are you and all that. And then I shit you not, he said, he looked right at us and he said, this is a, just like this, he goes, this is a weird night, huh? All right, well, y'all be safe. Bro, I was freaking out in my head. I was like, there's no fucking way. Like, does he know we're tripping? Like, how would he, right? Because I, I don't know. We weren't acting like super weird or anything. We were just kind of laughing and smiling really big. So maybe he did know. So we tripped on that for like 10 minutes. So about two hours into the trip, um, we went ahead and headed, headed back to my house and we just sat on the porch for a while and we weren't saying anything to each other like we didn't need to it just everything felt so perfect it was very euphoric like we were both looking up at the sky and it was just awesome so i started tripping on the stars like i remember i was staring at one specific star and i would stare at it long enough and it would like break into two different stars and they would like start dancing around each other and it was tripping me out i thought it was actually happening like that actually on Benadryl, that usually happens. When I look up at the sky, I'll usually see the stars kind of dance. But this time, it just felt different. I felt like it was actually happening, and I felt like it was happening for me. So we were sitting on the porch for about a good 45 minutes, and then we finally decided to head back into my room. And my room looked completely different to me. Like, when we got back, everything looked like so out of place. But it wasn't like a bad thing. It was just really trippy and really weird. Um, I used to have a poster on my wall of a woman in a bikini. And just like any 16 or 17 year old would back then. And I remember looking at her face and the longer I would look at her face, it would start to like morph into something like evil. Like her mouth had sharp teeth, her eyes were getting darker and her skin just started like 
I don't know, it was disgusting, but at the same time, it was really interesting. It didn't scare me, it didn't like put me into a bad trip or anything, it was actually kind of fun watching. So anyway, we turned on some music, and I was just laying in my bed, looking up at my ceiling, just watching it like swirl around and slide different directions. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. So my friend and I got this bright idea to go play Call of Duty online, and so I was down for it. And um, we got into a lobby, and I don't think we've ever had so much fun playing Call of Duty together before. Even if at some points um, we would just stare at a certain object in the game, just something random, and just keep looking at it and ask each other if it was actually moving or not. We always had a little joke um, about each other's TVs being bad quality when we were chirping, so it was just pretty funny. And here's something I actually mentioned in my DPH What It's Like video. I was sitting at my computer, just chilling my eyes closed, watching some crazy abstract shit happen, and I opened my eyes for just a moment, and I saw what looked like a fairy. I don't know, it looked like a fairy, and it was flying toward me. And when it got like this, about this close to my face, it shattered and just broke up and disappeared. I thought that was a little weird, but it was kind of funny to tell. So I think about five or six hours into the trip, I was laying in my bed and I had to go take a piss. I remember as soon as my feet touched the ground, I was already in the bathroom taking a piss. I remember as soon as I flushed the toilet and turned around, I was already back in my bed. Like that was one of the crazier moments. It legit, like it felt like I teleported from one room to another. And I asked my friend what the hell happened, and he said I was just walking really fast to the bathroom and back like a robot. And I'm sure some of you have heard of the robot walk. It's kind of like when you're on a high dose of DXM, you might catch yourself walking literally like a robot. Like, um, my feet were stomping, and you'll be like, doo, 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 doo. and it's really weird. So after that, we just kind of enjoyed the rest of the night, put on some music, and um, ended up falling asleep. Waking up the next day, talked about it, and it was crazy. It was, it was a fun experience. Um, let me just say I don't condone that anyone try this or do it. I'm just telling you my experience with it. But um, whether you're going to do it or not, that's up to you. So if you do do it, be safe. Uh, I recommend getting a sitter, always. But yeah, anyways, guys, that is my trip report on DPH and DXM mixed. And uh, I hope to release more content soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.